There's certain things in life that it's so bad it's good. It's so bad it's good. Cold pizza, for example, right? Oh. You wake up in the morning after you had a pizza. You're thinking about should I have pizza for breakfast or not? Yes, that's always yes. Yourself, yes. Always well, yes. It's pretty okay. cold, but guess what? It's so bad it's still delicious. It's pizza. It's always good, <laughs> no matter what. Yes. Breakfast sandwiches fall into that category, and I feel like football falls in that category, even when it's so bad. It's good. Even when it's I don't even know who you said was playing last night. Who was playing? Uh, it was Ben DiNucci versus Dwayne Haskins yeah, quarterback it was so matchup. So bad. Oh my god. It was still good last night to see football out there. And while we don't have the reaction that a Ross Tucker has, the idea of pads and tackling and just that love of competition, there is something comforting about watching football on television and having it there. I can yeah. feel the game on in Los Angeles, just driving around last night after I finished up the round with Brockman and I was heading out and meeting a buddy for dinner and listening to the game. You could you could see it in people's living rooms on television. <laughs> uh, the uh, the guy at the valet at the restaurant, I heard it on the radio, and he said, oh, football's back. He was fired up. You could feel that energy. And there's something about it. I mean, there's certain things in life that always signify the end of summer. Back to school commercials, Little League Baseball, and then football on television, the Hall of Fame game. A little different this year, obviously. Dak Prescott on a Zoom selling Air Jordan on his shirt <laughs> instead of being there with his team. Uh, but then it wasn't even so much about the actual football. We're not going to sit here today and, and analyze that. No, of course not. But what I took away from last night was just men have egos, don't they? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was just a display of... Quien es más macho sitting on the dais uh, when they're talking with Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson. And we go to our resident cowboy fan in house, TJ Jefferson, to get some analysis on that Cowboys moment. Here's Jimmy getting honored in Canton. Mm -hmm. But the real honor is the ring of honor. Yeah. That's what it came came off like a little bit last night for Jerry Jones. Well, I mean, I, I think. It goes without saying Jimmy Johnson deserves to be in the ring of honor. He will get in the ring of honor. And, you know, watching those two talk, I posted a picture on our Instagram last night. It was Jimmy and Jerry laughing it up, sitting next to each other. And I just simply put the caption as Jimmy and Jerry, what might have been. Because as a Cowboys fan, you always look at those two and you, you man, and, you know, we always hear that it's been 25 years, right, since we've won or how ever many years. And you look at those two and you go, man, if these two could have just got it together, if we could have had some type of moderator, some type of person to go like, you know, like Barry Switzer. Jerry told a story about Barry Switzer came after he got the job and said he wanted to sit those two down and ask them, how did they F this up? Like you guys what had is it a that destiny. haunts the most powerful men, the men who have achieved everything, women who have climbed the top of the mountain. What haunts the rich, the powerful? It's regret. Yeah. And it's the idea of what might have been. Exactly. And uh, to see the two of them, it's not like they squashed it last night. There wasn't a, I'm sorry. There wasn't a, hey, will we forgive each other? They may have already. May have done that behind scenes, but it, it, it seems like there was a, a kind of kindred spirits or connection. And I think it's tied to regret and to what you're talking about, the idea of what might've been. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment when, I don't know if you saw when Jimmy was talking about driving around with Jerry right before he took the job and the idea of we're going to make sports history. And then they did that. They and did when it. you hold on to the past like that with this air of what might have been, what the regrets are that it didn't work out maybe the way you thought it did. Yes, they did make sports history, but like TJ said, it's that what might have been that you know really eats at the soul of big, powerful, egotistical men and, and, and women in a lot of ways. People who have power, who have achieved that idea of the regret, even amidst all the success at three Super Bowls. A lot of people would hang their hat on that and yeah. ride off into the sunset, but it's not what it's about with the Cowboys. And I got that sense from watching it last night. What are some of your other takeaways from having football back last night? Is there anything you saw on the field that you can say, hey, that's something that the Cowboys should be concerned about? No. Uh, Cowboys, not really. no, not so much. I mean, Clay, uh, Chase Claypool went down for a minute, and then you're, I'm immediately thinking, why is he playing? You know, just something like that. I don't know. I, I, I'm not taking anything away. Uh, number crunching X's and O's there in the game. No fantasy purposes, I think, at all. It was just, like, nice to see – Football being played 
as we get ready here with, you know, a month to go till the season started. We got some clarification on the Steelers head coach's name. We got that. (laughs) I saw that in the inbox uh, this morning. Our our, our crackpot staff here always getting me prepared for the show. It was nice to hear. get Get the email with the subject that Mike Tomlin's name is Mike. Mike, Mike will be called by Mike after Jason Garrett. Don't call him Jason. Call him Coach. It was nice to hear Joe Buck's voice last night. Yeah. It was nice to see Troy. It was nice to see all the guys. I can't wait to watch Rich and the gang this weekend uh, for the ceremony for the induction. Uh, no, it's just great. Look, we are one step closer. Hard Knocks is It's such a tease, isn't it? It's, it's such a tease. tease. It's such and a tease. you have the pageantry of football and yes. the lights, and it looks great on television. I mean, Canton is awesome. If you've never been to Canton, it's one of the greatest places on earth. Like David Baker says, it is, it is football heaven, and it really is. It's awesome. Everyone should go. Everyone should try to go to the Hall of Fame. Uh, for the ceremony, Mike, we've done many, many of those. Yeah, it's, I've done them for the NFL, too, and it's, they're amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's a great weekend. It's amazing. And... Um, just, this, this is just the official kickoff. You know, we're five weeks away from the season start, so it's great. It used to be that TV show, Cold Pizza, but I feel like they should call the Hall, the Hall of Fame game the Cold Pizza game because it's so bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's still good. It's pizza. Still good. It is still You're looking good. at a, a bunch of guys who probably won't be getting significant yeah, time or a, during even on the season. team in like a week. Yeah, but, but you know, it's still seen. People getting to live their dreams out, and that's something we don't take into consideration. Or not sure. even just to live their dreams, but continue to pursue their dreams. Exactly. It's that journey that uh, oftentimes athletes look back on with, with fond memories and the fact that you're still getting an opportunity to go out there, prove yourself, get better, show your skill set, maybe make the team. I know we cast off most of these guys, but uh, to, to be able to pursue your dream to one day make it to the Hall of Fame, and that's actually what's kind of cool about the game is that you have these icons in their jackets who have done so much, these, these icons of the sport, and they're, they're watching this next generation of guys, like you said, Brockman, that are probably not going to make the team or yeah. play or have significant careers, but it just shows you like the full gamut of the journey of where it could go, where, what the opportunity is. So you could be discouraged by, by seeing all those legends or inspired, and I think that's what you get from, from some of these players. Now, Dak wasn't there just because of the world we're living in now. I think there was just no reason he wasn't no reason. he wasn't going to play, so there was no reason for for him to get on a plane and travel, et cetera. So, but do you think when he reacted to that field goal that like he was <laughs> he was cognizant of the fact that he was being live streamed, or we just caught him <laughs> in an authentic moment when he got really fired yeah. up for a field goal in the Hall of Fame game? Well, I would hope the that Mike points. I mean, that was all you got last night. I so. was hoping that I would hope that Mike quarterback is aware enough that there is a camera on him. He is mic'd yeah, up and right, that right. we are watching him. So I, I would hope that was all. <laughs> he casually watches the games on a practice field. So that's just always where he was. By the way, not, night? I mean, I guess your one actual football takeaway, not a good night for kickers. No. Yeah. Not a good night for kicking the ball through the uprights. That definitely, was a very definitely big Definitely not struggle. a good night for, yeah. for kickers out there in Canton. Uh, a little windy in Ohio this time of year, I guess. But yeah, fun to have football on last night. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.